Dying Light 2 is about to change because Techland just released a new roadmap and oh boy the things we're getting in the next 6 months is gonna blow your mind. Seriously I'm not joking, we're getting guns, a new game mode, a new difficulty, a new weapon rarity, finishers, an official mod support and more stuff so be ready, subscribe to the channel for more info like this and now let's have a look at the roadmap. So here is the roadmap and let me start by saying that the roadmap you see here is not in order. So basically anything you see here can drop anytime in the next 6 months and there is no specific date or month for that. Anyways, let's first have a look at the best things first. So we finally are getting firearms in Dying Light 2. Yes, after multiple requests from the community, Techline is finally bringing guns back to Dying Light 2. Now, what kind of guns we're getting is currently unknown, but my friends, time will tell. Also, if we take the DLC 2 leaks into consideration, then we know that we're getting a pistol and a shotgun. At the same time, this is something not related to DLC 2, so we might see some big guns. Next, we're finally getting an endgame content. Thank you so much, Techline. Finally, we have something to do after beating the game. Now, being honest, I was hoping for a beat the zombie be a survival game mode but hey for now VNC tower raids would work just fine. We just need more things to do after beating the game and this will fill the gap for now. Because I'm assuming these tower raids will be like prison heist from the first game where you go through a certain level to reach the end. And just like that you'll also be able to play these raids with your friends in co-op mode. Next we're getting new missions, basically new co-op missions, a boat quest which most likely will be bounty boats and then finally we'll be able to replay GRE anomalies. But that's not it my friends, we're also getting a new weapon repairing system so no more quirk charm is needed. Now you'll be able to repair your weapons in a different way most likely like the first Dying Light 1. So just imagine repairing your weapons on the go, that will be awesome. Next we're also getting some new enemy variants which basically means we're getting new mutations for already existing zombies. Like you already have seen the Tyrant Volatile, like that's a mutation for existing Volatile so expect more variations for other zombies too. Next as promised Techline is bringing more knives to the game and I just hope this time it's not hidden behind a paywall. But yeah new knives are coming but with that we're also getting some pole arms which basically means some something like the spear or something more crazy. Next we'll be getting some free outfits and I don't know how this is gonna work but yeah give me more free content. Next finally after a long time Techland realized that we needed a text chat option in Dying Light 2. Something that we already had in the first game a simple basic feature that should have been in the game since day one. But anyways I'm glad it's coming back because I have seen so many people complain about it and finally I can chat with strangers during a co-op game. Next we're getting a gear and mod dismantling. Now this is a huge thing because now you'll be able to remove mods from your weapon weapon, basically unmodifying your modified weapons and with that you will also be able to dismantle gear pieces for some resources. Next we're getting a new weapon rarity so if you thought legendary was the best one then wait until you see this new weapon rarity. Now being honest with you I don't know what they're gonna call this one but I was thinking something like mythical rarity but then again comment below what you guys think should be the name of the new weapon rarity. Next we're getting a new difficulty for players that find this game absolutely easy so now you can play this game in nightmare mode and challenge yourself. Also tell me in the comments how many of you will try this new difficulty because I know I will. Next another big addition to the game we're finally getting some finishers so remember when i made a video showing some cut content basically finishers that was removed from the game well it's finally coming back sooner than we thought Next, we're getting some explosive knives and throwing star and I don't think so I need to explain anything here because it's quite obvious. Next is a feature that everyone will appreciate, you can now turn off a bloom. Yes, finally I'll be able to see properly in this game and I know a lot of you guys have suffered from the same issue. But hey, don't worry, it's finally being fixed. Next and the biggest announcement in my opinion is that we are finally getting community mod support, like is this even real? I mean we will be able to download and play community made mods, like imagine browsing community made mods from the menu directly and installing it. Seriously, after the community map support on consoles, I'm glad we're finally getting a mod support. Also, I'm sure modders will appreciate this and wink wink, more modding stuff is coming for you guys. So my friends, everything I just told you guys is absolutely free. Yes, it's free content for players and all of this is coming in the next 6 months. Also, if you look at the bottom of your screen, you will see another section talking about the upcoming events. So, starting October 23rd, we'll be getting the Vampire Masquerade event followed by the Halloween and For Honor in November. Then in December, we'll be getting the winter event and finally second anniversary event will happen on Feb of 2024. Now my friends this is everything we are getting in the upcoming months and I'm super super excited for everything here. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this roadmap. Also expect a video very very soon. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then stay safe and stay human.